Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. In today's video, I wanted to show you new Hoyas that I have in my collection. Um, new uh, ingredients in my special uh, spray mix for uh, mealybugs and uh, beautiful, beautiful flowers on my Christmas uh, cactus. And I have it right here. And look at those flowers, how beautiful they are. Absolutely breathtaking very very beautiful i love 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 the color as well look how beautiful they are absolutely absolutely stunning i absolutely love 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 this uh, christmas uh, cactus i hope it's christmas cactus or thanksgiving cactus i don't know which one but it's absolutely beautiful and the flower open up and i wanted to show you how beautiful they are you know they come in uh, many colors but look at this color how beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous very very nice very beautiful i love 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 uh, this plant and you can see how many buds they have and i discovered uh, this uh, uh, christmas cactus that uh, uh, in uh, uh, they need uh, in terms uh, to flower they need cooler temperature so this is the secret for your Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving cactus to flower. They need cooler temperature during of the night. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving cactus. So now I will show you the Hoyas, beautiful, beautiful Hoyas that I have in, in my collection. And of course I have new ones as well. This is my Hoya Caudata Big Leaves. I mean, look at this beauty. I love, love, love how big the leaf is and you can see the silver splashes on the leaves as well and the leaf, it's a little bit ruffly on the edge, absolutely gorgeous, very, very beautiful and I will show you the um, name as well, Hoya Caudata, uh, they say silver splash, but the leaf, it's absolutely gorgeous, look how beautiful it is, very, very big absolutely gorgeous i have a normal one and i will show you the normal one as well and it's smaller in leaf and this year grew so much look how beautiful it is and it's tendriling as well it grew so much and i can wait next year to flower for me because for sure it's going to flower for me and next year i cannot wait to see the flowers as well i mean i love this hoya and now because i have this uh, specimen as well with the uh, bigger leaves look how beautiful they are oh my god and you can see if you compare these two how big this leaf is absolutely gorgeous very very beautiful i love them both so i hope the other one is going to grow for me and is going to give me new uh, leaves as well the next one this is beautiful as well but it's so different. This is Hoya Archo Baldiana. I mean, uh, this is the green variety and I have uh, Archo Baldiana variegated as well. And I'll show you the name. They are very different. As you can see, uh, this is the normal one. And look at that uh, leaf. Uh, it's a deep green color and it's thick when you touch the leaves. Absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this Hoya didn't grow for me to be honest with you and i will show you the roots how beautiful the roots and healthy they are didn't grow for me this year but i hope uh, next year is going to grow for me and this is hoya archobaldiana variegated and look at those leaves absolutely beautiful beautiful leaves you can see the new growth is darker in color but gradually when they get mature they will be uh, variegated like uh, those ones Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Very, very beautiful. Very, very nice. I hope they are going to grow for me and they will thrive in my care. The next one, this is beautiful as well. This is my Hoya Kalimantan. I mean, look at those veins, absolutely beautiful. And just only two leaf uh, Hoya and uh, i had hoya kalimantan in the past as well but unfortunately uh, they didn't survive but look how beautiful the venation is on the leaf 
absolutely beautiful and of course I do have Hoya Callistophyla and I will show you I will show you the name and look how beautiful it is and I will uh, compare these two uh, Hoya Kalimantan with Hoya Callistophyla uh, both of them they are absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful and uh, this Callistophyla didn't really grow this year whatsoever I hope that next year is going to grow I mean look at those uh, roots how uh, beautiful and healthy they are and I can't wait for this Hoya Callistophyla to grow maybe next year now the temperature during of the night they are really really uh, low they are like five degrees so I use uh, a radiator to um, for all my uh, uh, Hoyas and this is Hoya uh, Philansoniae and I mean I will show you Hoya Kali, uh, Kalimantan with Hoya Philansoniae uh, just to uh, compare look how beautiful they are I mean this is a beautiful beautiful Hoya and this uh, Hoya uh, Philansoniae it grew just one leaf this year maybe next year is going to grow more I mean they are absolutely beautiful stunning stunning Hoyas so Hoya Kalimantan and Hoya Philansoniae very very beautiful and I will show you the tag as well beautiful beautiful Hoya I absolutely love 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 this Hoya look at those veins very very gorgeous gorgeous Hoya but it's a very very slow grower very slow The next one, this is a new uh, Hoya in my collection. This is Hoya Montana. And uh, look how beautiful the leaves are. The leaves are very thin, but look at those veins, absolutely beautiful. And I can see the new growth as well, but I hope you can see the new growth. But because it travels, I think it's not going to grow. You know Hoyas needs to adapt to my um, environment so I hope it's going to adapt and I hope it's going to grow as well so this is Hoya Montana it's a beautiful beautiful Hoya the leaves as you can see they have like a deep green color very very beautiful I hope this one is going to grow and is going to give me new leaves as well the next one this is beautiful as well this is Hoya Meridithii Ted Green I mean this Hoya I have it for a while now but look at that leaf how beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love 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 this Hoya it didn't grow for me but I can see a growth point look how beautiful this leaf is absolutely gorgeous and I love 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 big leaf Hoya very very beautiful I absolutely love 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 this Hoya I hope it's going to grow for me I think I need to water this Hoya very very beautiful the next one this is beautiful this is very very beautiful as well this is Hoya uh, Klopenbergii and I will show you the name as well this Hoya it's very thick when you touch the leaves and you can see a few of the silver splashes but on the back look how beautiful it is it has like a, a dark uh, like a maroon color absolutely love 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 this Hoya this Hoya it's absolutely a beautiful Hoya stunning stunning Hoya and of course it has uh, silver splashes on the leaves very very beautiful Hoya to have in your collection didn't grow this year maybe next year is going to grow but I absolutely love 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 this Hoya it's a very 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 beautiful Hoya to have in your collection the next one this is beautiful as well this is Hoya species 512 I mean I love the splashes on the leaves the leaves they are very very thick look how beautiful it is with silver splashes very beautiful very very unique as well I love 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 this Hoya this Hoya it's very very beautiful I love the splashes on the leaves absolutely gorgeous very very beautiful Hoya 
I hope this hoya is going to grow for me. Next one, this is beautiful as well, and I will show you the new growth. This is Hoya Onicoides. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that uh, 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 roots. Look at those roots, how beautiful they are. And look at that growth. You can see it's sun stress, and I love that. And look at that leaf, how beautiful it is. It has like a dark um, green uh, color. Absolutely beautiful, very, very nice. So this is Hoya Onicoides. The leaf, it's very thick when you touch. Very, very beautiful. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. Next one, this is beautiful as well. This is my Hoya Hushkeliana Variegated. I absolutely love this Hoya. This Hoya grew for me a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, leaves in my kitchen on the windowsill and seems to love it. I absolutely love, love, love this uh, Hoya. This Hoya, it's a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. I love the variegation on the leaves. Very, very beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya. The next one, this is a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. This is my Hoya Suzy Q. I mean, look at that leaf, how beautiful it is. Very, very uh, beautiful. I spray this Hoya with my uh, special uh, spray uh, mix and uh, it seems that I do not see any mealybugs. I mean, it grew so beautifully and I bought uh, this Hoya this year, just few cuttings and look how much they grew. Look at those ones. Look at these ones, how beautiful they are. They are pure white. I absolutely love, love, love this Hoya. This Hoya, it's very, very beautiful. So this is, this is a Hoya, doesn't say, I didn't put a, ta uh, a label. This is Hoya Suzy Q. Very, very beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya to have in your collection. The next one, I am so clumsy. It's beautiful and it started to grow for me. This is Hoya species uh, cast. I don't know, I hope you can see the label. You can see the new growth and unfortunately it was, the stem was longer, but it broke, unfortunately. But I, you can see the new leaf. So this is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous Hoya. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Look at that leaf. Just one leaf uh, Hoya, but to be honest with you, this leaf is so thick. Oh my God, and so um, like a cardboardy uh, when you touch. Very, very nice. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see the new growth. I hope it's going to grow for me because look how beautiful it is. I am so upset that I broke the stem, but doesn't matter. It's going to grow another one maybe. Very, very beautiful. And this Hoya didn't do... Uh, nothing for a very very long time but now it started to grow over the sudden so this is hoya species cast look how beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous very very beautiful hoya okay the next one or oh, the next one this is beautiful beautiful hoya this is oh my god i forgot this is absolutely uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I forgot the name, um, but it's absolutely a very, very beautiful Hoya to have in my collection. Unfortunately, it didn't grow for me whatsoever. I don't know why. I do have a green variety as well. This is um, Hoya. Uh, I forgot the name now, but it's a very uh, beautiful Hoya. It's very common. I mean, everybody have uh, has this Hoya. I love, love, love the leaves. The leaves, they're absolutely uh, gorgeous. I mean, look at those leaves. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful leaves. Unfortunately, it didn't grow this year for me. I don't know why. And I forgot to label this Hoya. But it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. I think I have a green uh, variety as well. 
yes i do have a green variety and i have a variegated one absolutely all over the moon happy that i have this hoya this hoya it's a beautiful beautiful hoya it's something pot of gold or something like that but it's beautiful i absolutely love 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 this hoya uh i'm not sure if it's hoya macrophylla but it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful hoya. I love, love, love this hoya. Very, very beautiful. The next one, this is a very rare hoya. And I have this hoya for quite a while now. This is my hoya uh, thumb down. And I will show you the tag. I have this hoya from 4th of May uh, 2020. So hoya thumb down. And I will show you. It grew this leaf and it grew this leaf as well. It's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Look how beautiful it is. Very, very nice. It's a very slow grower. And when I bought this Hoya, I bought that, this leaf and this one. It was two leaf Hoya and it grew this one and it grew this one as well. It's tenderly up and I can see new uh, leaves as well. I hope you can see. I hope it's going to grow for me. I'm not sure. It's a very slow grower. I hope it's gonna carry on uh, to grow but because over the side of the temperature they uh, during of the night oh my god they are very very low but with the heating on the temperature they are around 15 degrees which is not really that bad the oh my god I wanted to show you my beautiful beautiful Hoya Globulosa which it grew I hope you can see look this is the new leaf absolutely gorgeous and i have this hoya look how beautiful it is absolutely uh, all over the moon happy that this hoya grew for me so much that i had to put a trellis i mean you can see the tag hoya globulosa i mean look at this leaf look how beautiful it is and it's in leca as you can see it's in leca and it grew i sprayed this hoya because i saw mealybugs and look how beautiful it is look how beautiful and big i hope next year is going to flower for me because i can no wait to see the flowers and look at the new growth how beautiful it is i am absolutely all over the moon happy that this hoya grew for me so much i mean beautiful beautiful hoya very very beautiful hoya very beautiful specimen to have in your collection so um Let's talk about uh, this uh, spray for mealybugs that I uh, mixed uh, this morning, I think. Yeah, so baking soda. Very, very uh, interesting mix. Neem oil. Now I, uh, I bought neem oil as well because one of the subscribers, they said that neem oil is very, very good for mealybugs as well. My horticulture gentle liquid soap. And I hope you can see clove oil. So um, one of the subscribers, Shirley uh, Wilhelm, she said to me that clove oil, it's absolutely uh, a miracle. Uh, they, you get rid of uh, mi the mealybugs and they will never come back. You have to apply 10 drops of clove oil. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, I was really, really happy that she uh, advised me to use a clove oil in my special blend. So clove oil is an essential oil that derived from clove trees. The clove tree, tree known as uh, Zygzumu aromaticum is native to uh, Southern Asia, al although today you might find it's growing in other location too. Clove uh, oil is produced by uh, distilling the dry flowers buds that are collected from the clove tree absolutely beautiful uh, and i'm very very happy to be honest with you because she suggested to buy clove oil for mealybugs so i mixed uh, this clove oil uh, 10 drops of clove oil horticulture uh, liquid soap and i uh, just a spoon of horticulture uh, mic, uh, soap neem oil a spoon of neem oil as well and of course baking soda 
and in warm water. And I just mix all of them. And I will uh, talk about neem oil as well. So neem oil, also known as margosa oil, it's a vegetable oil pressed from the fruits and seeds of the neem, a tree which is indigen in indigenous to the Indian uh, subcontinent and has been introduced to many other areas in the tropics. I mean, neem oil, it's absolutely uh, a miracle for mealybugs. Uh, you get rid of them in no time. So uh, that's it really. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will show you new art. Look how beautiful uh, my earrings are and this is more like a Halloween uh, look. So if you see uh, something that you like, please you can contact me on my Instagram page Adina Kikiro 8 So uh, I use a black color and I use a silver foil as well. Look how beautiful they are. I absolutely love, love, love them so much. They are very, very beautiful. And um, uh, you can see cactus keychain, how beautiful it is. And of course, because it's Halloween, I use darker colors. This is uh, uh, letters keychain. And this one as well, it's absolutely beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. So keychains, they are very popular and uh, they sell very, very well. Bookmarks with the silver foil in a blue color. And of course, mermaid bookmark. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely gorgeous with the foil, with silver foil as well. So that's it really. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, um, I use the neem oil to be honest with you and I'm absolutely all over the moon happy that uh, uh, this beautiful lady suggested a neem oil for mealybugs and of course clove oil so thank you very much Shirley Wilhelm that she says to me clove oil it's absolutely a miracle for your mealybugs they numb them to death so um, you're not gonna have a mealybugs whatsoever if you use uh, 10 drops of clove oil and of course uh, neem oil and uh, the soap the gentle liquid soap and of course the baking soda you use them in warm water and uh, to be honest with you I finish my uh, feed and mist for work it so I just blend the uh, spray in this uh, bottle and really really uh, works so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel Adina Kikiro Plants Equals Happiness for more future videos about uh, houseplants in general, uh, uh, common or rare, Hoyas that are my number one passion, cactus, succulents, planters and pots, and of course my Eposi resin art. And if you see something that you like, please you can contact me on my Instagram page Adina Kikiro 8. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let's just finish this video with this beautiful beautiful Hoya Caudata uh, silver uh, splash look how beautiful it is I absolutely love 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 the big leaf uh, Hoya very very beautiful and I can wait for this Hoya to grow thank you very much for watching have a lovely day uh, see you uh, next week and next week I'm going to have a surprise for you and I'm going to film um, a video at Eden, Eden, Eden project again. So see you soon. Bye bye.